in today's video I'm going to be talking about UVB for reptiles um, I'll be saying a little bit of why it's important as well as talking about some of the types of UV available so let's get into the video so first of all I'll talk about the uh, reasons that uh, reptiles such as lizards and tortoises actually require UVB so the main reason they actually require it and the most essential reason is it basically allows the synthesis of D3 to occur now you may or may not know D3 is required in the process of metabolizing calcium without this um, reptiles such as lizards and tortoises can develop quite extreme um, metabolic bone disease or MBD um, and that has led to a lack of calcium or calciums in the bones and it basically causes them to become very soft, um, quite brittle and often causes the arc shape associated with the disease. So we'll get into the forms of UVB. We'll start off with what's most commonly known as the canopy bulbs. Now there's a few different types of these and a few different brands. I've just got two old ones um, for examples. So this one here is the one commonly used. Um, as I said, there is two different versions, so I'll just get the other version. They aren't any favoured brands or anything. These are literally just um, ones I had lying around. So you can see the two different shapes of the bulbs. Um, these ones here, the ones that are more um, longer and aren't coiled, these uh, have a better spread of UV than the coiled ones. They also tend to be slightly better for um, UVB strength. Although saying this, these compact bulbs are not great for all species. They are quite commonly used for chameleons, however they are not the best bulb. They are quite poor um, in UVB and UVB spread. They are more used for stuff like small lizards such as um, I quite commonly use mine for tree frogs. Um, as the UV output isn't humongously great. Um, they are okay bulbs. Their UV is relatively good. I prefer um, these compacts, the slightly longer ones, to the spiral ones just because they have a slightly better output. Um, however, I do actually only use them in one of my cages, which is my... Um, my communal cage of my green anoles and my tree frogs so I will be showing one of these in um, working condition in a second. The second and probably one of the most commonly used um, UV light sources is these UV tubes. Um, they are also made by a few different reptile brands. They're quite commonly used this is a T8, so it's a slightly thicker tube. Um, the other version, which I will also show, is the T5. Now, T5s have a very, very good um, UV output. I actually use one with a reflector. Reflectors are brilliant um, for basically doubling the output of the light. It makes the light spread more, um, basically doubling the UV overall spread. Um, I use one of these with my Jackson's Chameleon. As Jackson's chameleons are a montane chameleon species, they do require slightly higher UV levels as they are found um, on the mountains in Tanzania where they have um, very high exposure to UVB. So this is a T8. I currently use a T8 with my baby crested geckos and my plumed basilisk. However, another form of UVB which I do really like um, I really do like these UV sources, um, I think they're absolutely brilliant and the output is extremely high, is these mercury vapour bulbs. Um, mercury vapour bulbs, there's a few different brands, um, I like to use uh, the Arcadia brands, I will say I'm not, um, I'm not sort of enforcing the brand Arcadia or... Um, sort of prefer them but I just overall prefer the output that these bulbs give um, compared to the others. Arcadia is bringing out quite a lot of um, new brands of UV lighting um, and I just prefer the overall um, outputs given by them. 
But, I mean, everyone has their opinions. Some people prefer sort of the Exoterra, some people prefer Zoomed. But anyway, this is the Mercury Vapor Bulb. Now, these bulbs are brilliant for making a spot, as they do do um, both Baskin and UVB. They have updated this version now. There's a version 2, which has a better um, UV output and spread. They are reflective inside, so they do do a decent spread. However, using them with a um, reflector dome helps make an even better spread. I use two of these currently. I use um, one with my Cuba Nitinols and one with my plumed basilisk also. I use that for a basking spot. Um, they do give, as I said, a very, very high output. This is the 100 watt version. There's a 80 watt and a 160 watt. I will show these working and the um, T5 also. So we'll go now to them. So this is the use of a um, T5 in my Jackson's Chameleon's cage. Um, you can see in there. These bulbs are really, really good. You can see I'm using a reflector. I slightly um, slanted the reflector to give um, the best sort of spread of the cage. Um, they are very, very strong bulbs. I'll now show you um, the example of a compact UV being used. Um, this will this is uh, currently being used in my adult crested geckos cage and also my um, green anole and frog cage. So actually being used in this cage currently, I've got both a T8 on the top. This is the um, plant UV the 2.0. And then you can see the compact just in the back there. Um, they're not requiring very high amounts of UV for the frog species. So they do all right with this. Um, the added 2.0 UV also gives the uh, green and oils a little bit of extra UV. Um, so we'll move on to the final one, which is a mercury vapor I currently use. So you can see the mercury vapor being currently used. This is for my um, Cuban night and all. So you can see the female just at the back. Um, their cage is looking a little bit dead at the moment. So I need to put some new uh, live plants in there. But they're doing quite well. So they're using the mercury vapor. So thanks for watching the video, guys. Um, I hope this has helped um, you guys with picking the right UV for the reptiles. There is a lot of info online, especially on the Arcadia Exoterra sites. Um, about their UV light products um, so it can help you better to decide which lights best for your reptile um, overall for the more sort of active basking species like uh, knolls they do require quite a high um, UV output and stuff like the um, Jackson do also I would also say other chameleons such as panthers do require a high UV output so the um, compacts aren't actually that great I would either recommend using the mercury vapors um, due to their high output or a t5 with a reflector so thanks for watching the video guys leave a like and subscribe for more content thanks